Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another late night boring episode. Tonight we have a couple of pretty fun projects that we're going to take care of. Um, so tonight I am using these wonderful stands from Tracy Reed. And uh, she makes some of the most awesome tools for acrylic pouring. These are wonderful because they you can adjust the height. So if you have something that you can't put pins in, like the wood panel we're going to use, these are awesome. And they also have these holes in there so you could actually screw them down if you wanted to. I'm not going to tonight. But we're going to be using this 20 inch wood panel heart that I got from Amazon. I have painted it white to seal it off. And we're going to do an experiment tonight with our wandering straight pour, the precursor to the wanderlust. So uh, let me show you the colors that I'm working with and then we'll get started. And this first one is our base coat color. This is a combination of my leftovers of Mysterious and my leftovers of Golden's Turquoise Thalo. So it's a really pretty color with just a very slight metallic sheen to it. Really, really pretty. This base coat color is slightly thinner than everything else. My pouring medium is my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss and Floetrol. And this one I have added a little bit more Floetrol to to thin it out just a smidge. So this is going to be our base coat color. And then the colors that we're going to be pouring with, this first one is Golden's Prussian Blue. Beautiful stuff. Nice and thick, mound on a mound. It sinks into itself. Then we have another this little piggy pigment color. This one is one I really, really love. This is Mint Chip. And it's just beautiful. Really, really nice. And I think the contrast between these two is going to be really beautiful, especially on top of that base coat. So that's our mint chip. And then I have some Decor Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. And I have some titanium white from Amsterdam. Okay, so the game plan is to put down our base coat and then we are going to pour a wandering straight pour and then I'm going to do something that's experimental <laughs> that I'm actually excited about that I've been thinking about for a while. Yeah, okay. So I did paint both sides of it and I recommend when you're using a wood panel like that that you do actually either put gesso or paint on both sides, not just on one. All right, so let's pour this down here and we're gonna spread this out on about two thirds of this. Okay. I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be really cool. I haven't told you guys what the surprise thing is yet, but you'll see. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this bottom section bare for the moment because we're going to pour on top of that and then we're going to do something slightly shocking. All right, a little nervous. <laughs> I probably should have layered my cup first. That would have made more sense. Let's do that now. Okay. See, I get excited and then I start to go too fast. All right, we're going to use a nine ounce cup to layer. Let's see, we're going to start at the bottom with a little bit of white. And then we're going to go right into that Prussian blue. And then a little bit of the mint chip. And then we're going to get some gold. I'm going to do that again a few more times. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of white on top of that. Okay, let's move these over. Alright, and I still have plenty of paint left, so if this doesn't work, don't worry, we can always pour it again. Alright, we're going to start over here, HOA, and we're going to go across. Okay, and we're going to do a wandering straight pour. Are you ready, husband of awesome? 
I lass that I am. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stay pretty close to the canvas, so we're gonna pour it nice and slow. Here we go. if we can. All right, so that's pretty good actually. Okay, now, don't freak out. I'm gonna take my paint scraper <laughs> and we're literally going to scrape this bottom half off. save some of that base coat color because we're going to come back in with that and we're going to pour that right along the edge and now we're going to tilt this a little bit that way and then we're going to tilt it back down towards me I just want to stretch out that top part a little bit with the fingerlings and now we're going to bring it back the other way and really stretch out that straight pour part and the fingerlings and hopefully make it look awesome. I don't know if it's going to go all the way down to the bottom or not. Maybe. I thought you were trying to leave some negative space on the bottom. Well, no, I'm more interested in negative space on the top. Okay, so let's see how that looks. It's actually kind of cool though. What do you think? Yeah. That looks like a snow-covered mountain. <laughs> like that actually. I don't even want to leave it like that. Looks like it was dipped. Looks like a cookie that was dipped in something. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna fix this little edge right there. All right so let me actually turn this around so you guys can see it the way I want it to be seen. Right there. Okay. So there's our heart <laughs> with a half a wandering straight pour. But I really love that. I really always like that center bottom section in through here. Uh, it gives us kind of that gradient. And I always love the fingerlings. So I'm actually happy with how this turned out. I would have liked it if it was a little bit higher up. Maybe we can tilt it just a That's little bit more. Stand like this. <laughs> it's moving a little bit. I do want to keep the integrity of the lines. I think we're going to stop there. Just leave it like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to come in and touch up the edges with that base coat color. So everything looks good. And uh, we will be all set. 
I actually don't want to torch it because I don't want to raise a whole bunch of teeny tiny bubbles in it. I think we're going to be fine. Pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So I will show you guys when it's dry. I showed you guys this painting that HOA did last week just as an idea that he had had and it turned out really really cool and um, I found this really fun stencil. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it on there HOA can you? But it's Princess Leia <laughs> in her uh, iconic slave girl outfit in that pose that's usually on truck mud flaps. So it's pretty funny and HOA being the big Star Wars fan that he is, I thought it would be rather amusing. So we're going to do some, this little piggy pigments in brulee on top of Princess Leia and finish off this piece. So this is actually a 14 by 14 uh, student grade canvas and I didn't actually tape it or pin it or anything like that because we were just playing, but it turned out really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, this is some... Um, Let's see, what is this? Artist Loft Super Heavy Gel Gloss. And I have mixed this little piggy pigments in brulee with the gel gloss. And I've got this lovely consistency here, which is pretty thick. So, and we're just literally going to take some of this and apply it to the stencil. I have taped it with painter's tape onto the canvas, and I have put a lot of the tape on there because I don't want to get it anywhere else on the canvas. So, Let's get started. I'm going to start from the top and sort of work my way down. And glasses on your head, you know? Yeah, because I need to see. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now, my only concern is that this is not completely flat, which I do worry about, but we're going to do the best we can. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, slave girl Leia. Just gonna put a nice liberal amount on there. <laughs> so whenever you're working with with gel gloss, I recommend that you have some baby wipes on hand because they are very very helpful in cleaning your palette knives and whatever surfaces if you make a mistake. Just gonna get a little bit more and make sure we get her braid. And I did tape this pretty carefully because I want to be sure that we get good coverage on there. It's pretty even. Looks like cake frosting. Brulee mm -hmm. <laughs> is an amazing color. It's this beautiful creamy color with gold shift on it. It's so pretty. And in some lights it almost looks pink but it's definitely like a bronze mixed with a pearl. Super pretty. Okay. Okay, you're right, it does look like cake frosting. <laughs> 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 okay, I think we've got everything covered now. So. Now, this next part, before you take the stencil off, clean your gloves off for a second. Take that two seconds and actually do that for yourself because it makes a big difference if you have some gel gloss on your fingers and you don't realize it. Okay, so we're going to lift this one up. I'm going to get this one off. All right, I'm going to do it towards you. Now when you're doing this, try to hold the stencil. I didn't leave a lot of space on the edge, so... Like there was a lot of space on the edge. No, there wasn't. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. Hold that one down and pull this up. Okay. All right, moment of truth. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Slave girl Leia. Ooh, looks like we might have to clean up some parts of that. And we just made a big mess over there. But that's okay, because we have baby wipes. That's exactly what they are for. And you see that just cleans right off of the edge. 
so this part I'm going to actually take my same palette knife and I'm going to wrap the baby wipe around it. And I'm just going to come in and clean up this edge. pretty cool. What do you think, honey? Yeah. Okay. And I will clean that up a little bit more off camera, but you guys get the idea. And then I have these really cool Kebio Vitrio gel pens. It's not a pen, so it's actually gelled gloss or some sort of gel gloss type of thing, but it's gold. It's like that puppy pen relief sort of stuff. So we might add some details like around her ankle bracelet and maybe some eyes on there when she's totally dry but this will be dry tomorrow and I will show you guys at the end of this video what she looks like so there's our princess Leia slave girl <laughs> okay thank you all so much for being here with us tonight uh, please make sure you check out our fluid art boutique website we will be teaching classes in Dublin in June of 2024 this year I'm so excited we're gonna be at the Fitzpatrick Castle and hotel in Dublin, Ireland. We have Karen from Waterfall Acrylics and Sarah Mack and myself and Erica Hughes Art and the incomparable Fiona from Fiona Art and Fosia from Fosia Creations. And we also have Nate Bright Art with us this year. So it's gonna be really fun. Please check out our website at www.fluidartboutique.com. And uh, there's lots of information about hotels and uh, all the different classes available and um, I think there are still a lot of rooms left at the Royal Marine Hotel so please do check that out be sure you mention Fluid Art Boutique and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun so come paint with us in a castle it's gonna be awesome we'll be right back with the dried results I'll tilt it down just a little bit more now I like that. I love that color combination. It's so striking. Cool? Mm-hmm. Awesome. I keep touching it. <laughs> I have to fix it. <laughs> All right. So this is the next day. Not completely dry, but it is drying. and It's drying beautifully. Um, I did end up tilting it a little bit more to raise the design up inside the heart a little bit more. I thought there was a little bit too much negative space. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Sorry, there's not a lot of sun today. <laughs> and I think it's gonna start raining soon. <laughs> but this turned out really, really pretty. All of these beautiful lines in here with that Prussian blue and the gold. And the mint chip is in there. I can see it a little bit and I'm hoping once it's totally dry, we'll be able to see it a little bit more. But really, really pretty. I love this gradient area down at the bottom and all the fingerlings. So this was fun. I hope you guys didn't get a little too shocked when I scraped off the bottom, but I really wanted the top section of the fingerlings. And to me, this kind of looks like mountains covered in snow with sunlight hitting them. Really pretty stuff. And that base coat color with the mysterious and the, the thalo turquoise is just really gorgeous. So really really happy with this one and I will show you when it's completely completely dry in the next video but let me go get our slave girl Leia for you because she turned out really cool hang on okay so this is the next day and our slave girl Leia looks really cool I'm really happy with how this turned out first of all I love the piece that HOA poured and tilted out it was awesome and I love that sort of shooting star galaxy feel that's in there and there's our princess Leia so I did go in with that Vitrio, the Pebio Vitrio pen and add a little bit of gold detail. It's not perfect, but you know, life isn't perfect and I'm certainly not perfect. So. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it really looks fun and very cool and HOA had a big old smile on his face when I showed him. So <laughs> This was awesome. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.